Welcome to this episode of Friendship Today. I am Luke Farmer. And I'm Justin Martin. In every show, we bring you the stories that are Friendship High School. Safety and security are our top priority at Friendship High Campus, so we want to introduce you to the people who help keep our campus safe. My name is uh, Officer Ingram. And Officer Griffin. I'm starting my second year here with Friendship. And I've been here about a year. Well, basically, man, it's changed, you know, always got to wear your mask, you know, stop the spread. Hand sanitizer, which is always right here, man, you know. Um, basically, just your hygiene, man, just wash, wearing a mask, man. And if you can, stay six feet apart from each other? Yeah, man, I've, uh, you know, before I worked here, I was at the sheriff's office, and I mean, I was always getting assisted by other officers. Here, you know, we always got each other's backs, you know, if, you know, one of my other officers, officers has a, uh, you know, problem at another school, and I'll go back them up, same with me, if I need somebody to know, they'll always be here. You know, that's kind of like a family deal we have, you know, we always have each other's backs. Agreed. Well, once you put them in custody for any, whatever crime they committed, you know, you've got to make sure you have your report written before you go to uh, the LCJJC, which is the Juvenile Justice Center. Um, your report, you know, your PC affidavit, you got to have all that ready and, you know, ready to go to send to the uh, DA so they can file the charges. And, you know, it's not any different than, you know, an adult, you know, put the handcuffs on and go. But you want to have all your paperwork and stuff ready to, to go. Before you take them, it's not a high number that I've put in custody, but yes, there has been some students that I've had to put in custody. But for the most part, man, kids here, friendship, great kids. Yes. Real great kids. Yes. We're here to help you guys. You know. Yeah, don't be afraid of us. Come and you know visit us, talk to us, and and you know we like to see. You know, your faces every day, and yeah, you know the, the, the stuff going around in the you know United States right now. You know, with the, the cops and stuff. You know, we're, we're we're here to help you. Right. So if you have any any questions, you need anything from us, and our doors are always open for you. Yep, we have a heart. We have kids ourselves, so we 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 know. <laughs> Friendship High School assistant principals play an important role on the life of every student on campus. So with that in mind, we want to take this opportunity to introduce a couple of our assistant principals. First up is Miss Alicia Reese. My name is Alicia Reese. I'm an assistant principal here at Friendship High School. Um, I've been an assistant principal for five years. This is my 18th year with the campus. Being an educator means everything to me. Um, I started out going to college wanting to get a business degree and I loved working in the business field but I didn't really make that much of an impact just working with numbers and legal documents all day. Um, I got into the education field and working with students and other teachers and actually making an impact on students. Um, it, it means a lot. It, it gives me purpose. And I also love that it's something new every single day. No two days are the same. Everything is different. I have loved that a lot of our educational conferences have started to go virtual. Um, in the past, we've only been able to send a couple of teachers from each department because you got to pay travel and it's time off from school. But uh, since COVID has happened and everything is happening virtually now, for our conferences, like we're fixing to have a science conference and it's virtually pretty much the entire department, if they want to attend it, can go to it. So that's a pretty cool feature too that I hope that sticks around. I want to get rid of the masks. I want us to be able to give each other a high five um, or be able to stand next to each other. I want to be able to go to games after school and not have to monitor which kids are wearing masks and if you're sitting within six feet of somebody else and not have to worry about it. Th those are the two things about COVID that I cannot wait for them to go away. I love making an impact on students' lives and I think back to the educators when I was young who meant a lot to me. Um, I had one of my first grade teachers pass away not too long ago um, and she meant the world to me and going to her funeral everybody talking about how she impacted all of them 
was huge and, and you don't see that with any other profession. You don't go to an accountant's funeral and then talk about how valuable that accountant was in their life. Um, you, you just don't see that impact in other professions that you do in the education profession. So I love to be able to help students. I love to be able to help them find their passion. Um, I love to be able to make them know that someone cares about them um, and really does care if they succeed or not and is proud of the big things and even the little things that they accomplish. Our next assistant principal for you to meet is Mr. Joel Thompson. I am uh, in my sixth year here at uh, Friendship High School. Uh, I actually did some student teaching here back at the first of my teaching career and then now back here and this is my sixth year as an assistant principal. Really, if you summarize it all, my job is to serve students and teachers and there's a lot of different ways that that can happen, a lot of, of different ways that looks but you know we help students in every way we can um, as far as either academically I do handle discipline issues with with my group of, of students uh, I work side by side with uh, Miss Nikki Morrison uh, as, a, as an academic counselor for our student population um, work with teachers uh, help them in any way we can try to support them and help them do their job uh, which is you know that's the whole, most important job here is what they do and so we just try to support students and teachers, serve um, in, in any way that, that comes across our desk, uh, we try to serve. What I like most about friendship is the people. Uh, I'm amazed every day at the, the students that we have, such, such good students. Um, I'm, I'm caught off guard sometimes by the ways that they help one another and it's always uh, kind of restores your faith in people the way that they take care of one another. Uh, the teachers are amazing. Uh, the way that they they always rise to whatever is put in front of them, they do it and, and do it well, and they take care of kids. And so, I I really enjoy getting to watch teachers perform, taking care of kids, going the extra mile to take care of them. And, and so, getting to be around such good people is my favorite part of friendship. The recent changes as far as COVID-19, it's been a challenge, but in some ways, even though it's been a challenge, it hasn't been that much of a change in philosophy. Our students and teachers' safety and security has always been a top priority for us. And so just making adjustments that would meet this new challenge of COVID-19 um, has really not been that big of a shock to our system. Obviously there's new things, obviously, you know, we're masks and social distancing and, and certain things and how we travel through the hallways, among many, many other cleaning and sanitizing uh, classrooms. There have been a lot of challenges, but everyone has just stepped right into it because we're gonna do everything we can to keep our, our people safe. Over quarantine, um, we did a lot of, of reaching out to students and teachers remotely in the spring. There were some difficult times uh, because it is such a change from the normal routine. You know, we're used to coming to work every day. We're used to seeing everybody's faces every day. And so that was difficult because you miss people and you miss that interaction. On the other side, it was really a blessing to have a little bit more time with my family. Uh, just time where we were focused on one another, hanging out together, and so there were hard times to it, but there were also blessings to it as well, which I think in most cases, if you look hard enough, you can find those blessings, and, and being, being able to spend time with my family was, was definitely uh, a, a blessing during that hard time. They say a picture says a thousand words. If that's the case, then this next story has a lot to say. Oh. 
Well, this is my first year at Friendship High School. I'm really excited to be here. I have been with another district across town for 17, prior, 17 years prior to this. I'm teaching two different classes. I've got commercial photography, which is part of the CTE program, and we are learning all the basics in uh, camera use on the digital SLR cameras, and then also delving into Photoshop, Bridge, and Lightroom. And then Photo 2 is a second year class. So. Not while I've been here, but I've only been here for six weeks. So, but we take all our precautions. I teach them handling of the camera, um, and then they sign some contracts that basically say if they break it, they buy it. We use what's called a digital single lens reflex camera, a DSLR for short. And they're just basically cameras where they have to learn shutter speed, aperture, ISO, the whole exposure triangle in order to take good photos. Yes, so this is Ansel Adams, who is by far one of my favorite photographers because his color or value within the lighting situations for his landscapes were just beautiful and inspired me to take my own pictures. I'm Leah, I like to dance, uh, I like to sing, I guess that's why I like photography a lot because artistic, I guess, but yeah, that's a little bit about. My class is really basic, we're starting for, uh, Photoshop right now, I get confused about it a lot of time, I think it hates me. but. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, at first it was a little bit slow, but as we're getting into like actually going out in the school and taking photos, it helps a lot. So it's, it's progressing more and more each day. I get Friendship Basketball has a long history of success, and with the 2020 and 2021 season approaching, we want to take a look into how girls basketball is preparing for the season. Yeah, this is going to be my seventh year here at Friendship. I've been coaching for uh, 30 years. It's my 31st year overall, and uh, I was kind of born and uh, and raised here in Lubbock. It's been all my all my time mostly here. A couple of years in the uh, Metroplex, a couple of years in small town Wellington, but all the others been here. We're looking forward to the season. We've got a, a bunch of young kids this year. We're going to be a lot more inexperienced than we have in the past. We. Uh, we graduated uh, four of our players last year, three of them that are playing in college this year. So we've lost quite a bit, uh, but we've got good young kids. I think we'll be good once we get some experience in us, but we've got to get a, get a lot of uh, playing time and experience early on so we're ready for district because it comes at us uh, in mid-December this year. Uh, the last uh, four years we've been district champs. It's the first time that Friendship's ever done that four years in a row. So uh, that's the level we're trying to uh, stay at. And so uh, we're certainly hoping that we can compete for a district title. We've got some tough teams. Midland Lee is going to be very good. Uh, Odessa High is going to be good. Uh, and then we add in two new teams this year in Abilene High and, and uh, San Angelo Central. So it'll be a battle, but I think we're going to be in the mix. Atlanta. I'm in 10th grade. I made varsity basketball and I played point guard. Have a winning season, win district, and make the playoffs. You know, we, we want our kids to play fast. That's what we always want them to do. We want them to run up and down the floor. We look to uh, uh, shoot the ball, first open shot that we get. Uh, and that may be off of transition or it may be working in a little bit. Uh, we're going to press, we're going to make other teams have to go fast with us. So, uh, so our whole deal is we want to be able to utilize our bench. We want to wear teams out and, and bring our subs in. We feel like we've got uh, a lot of kids that can play at the varsity level and so we're going to utilize them and, and play as, as fast and uh, chaotic as we can, but uh, uh, hopefully uh, do it better than the other teams do. Thanks for joining us today. If you know a great story about Friendship High, we want to tell it. Let us know by calling or emailing us. Also, be sure to follow Friendship.tv on Facebook. We'll be seeing you on the next edition of Friendship Today. 